see, let's play some Tekken 7. Alright, I'm going to play the arcade and just go through um, the arcade here as I discuss uh, some things to do in Tekken 7 and what you need to look out for and what characters you should choose. Um, first off, I'm going to take Leroy. Um, my favorite characters is the Kazuyas, uh, Jin Kazuya or uh, Kazuya Mishima, which is the... Um, which these two are like the fastest in the game. I, I like their fighting style and their their punishing moves the best. Uh, right now, I'm looking at uh, Lee uh, Leroy. He has a Korean style mixed martial arts. Um, the same mixed martial arts that Bruce Lee's master um, trained him under. Some of the, uh, some of the what Bruce Lee learned and and mastered and, and uh, made his own um, came from a little bit of the uh, Korean mixed martial artist, um, IP man. Um, this will be this fight here uh, versus Negan. Negan. He's pretty good in the game. I really don't care much for characters that are outside the Tekken universe, though. Yeah, I like Negan, but I don't like his character in being in Tekken. Um, I just like Tekken being a Tekken game. Especially when it's uh, definitely canon series of the series here, because... Uh, Negan just isn't, can it shouldn't be canon and shouldn't be part of a canon story. Um, it, that's just my opinion. I don't like intertwining different uh, characters in, into one and just makes a mess of things and a little bit cheap. I would say cheap and money grabby for companies to do just to you know, to attract people that like Negan into the game to play Tekken and buy the game. Um, I just find that just not something that I'm a fan of and not support. Eddie is, Eddie's decent. Um, he's a little bit unorthodox. Going against him is more, more of a pain than it is, uh, using him. Using him, using Eddie is, uh, pretty can be difficult, I guess you could say. It's, it's, he kind of, his moves and stuff are, are just kind of hard to get down and master. Most of the stuff is, uh, he does a lot of the, what I would call, what is it, uh, break dancing, fighting moves. Uh, I, I know it's like a Jamaican style, I think, in Jamaica. Um, I'm not sure exactly but I think it's like a Jamaican style fighting no he's Eddie I'm glad they brought back um, from the older games I was not a big fan of Christy um, I was more of a fan of Ag Eddie and Tiger um, Tiger is the uh, the persona of Eddie um, pretty much a character of himself he just kind of dresses up in an afro, kind of like a 70s vibe. But, uh, other than that, this game is, in my opinion, is a little bit cheaply made. The graphics are not, not good. The loading times are absolutely horrible. The, the gameplay is not really normal to the Tekken gameplay. They added some characters I didn't care much for. They kind of butchered the Mishima war uh, error uh, with adding characters that didn't need to be in the canon story, in my opinion. Uh, this is, uh, of course, I'm not going to spoil anything or anything like that. I just, in my opinion, this, this story just wasn't wasn't done right and they could have took it in a different direction and made it a little better but adding different characters and that uh, 
wasn't part of the Tekken universe, uh, just kind of wasn't cool by me. Um, I think this guy's name's Leon. Uh, he's kind of a trash character in my opinion. I think they just add him for the politics uh, more than anything else. He really doesn't have a good fighting style. He's really not that fun to use. He's really not creative uh, like Ogre or Devil Jin or Devil Kazuya or Jim Jimpachi or any of those. He's just kind of just a different type of character that was added for diversity that you know I just I'm not a big fan of. He's a little bit he's he, he can be a little bit slow. He's not got very good punishers either. Um, I guess if you used him right, he could probably be decent with any character, but he's just not my type of character that I like to use. I think uh, Leroy is a pretty good, pretty good fighter. Um, um, he's not the one that I have mastered and, and done a lot with, but I have used him a little bit with the Korean fighting style, it's uh, a little bit new to the game. So I, I do enjoy that, and I enjoy using him for the most part. Um, Heihachi, which is part of the Mishimas. Um, he's a pretty good character as well. A um, little bit, a little bit, um, Slower than the other Mishimas uh, in the family, but his punishers make up for him being slow. Uh, the main thing you want to look out with uh, Heiachi is his grabs and his punishers basically just stay on top of him with speed and don't let him get a hold of you. Um, if he gets a hold of you, it's it's he's, he can do tons of damage. And he can definitely punish punish you and counter your attacks pretty easily. Uh, so you want someone that's got a little bit of speed that can get in there and stay up in his face and give him a little hard time uh, getting some of those slower attacks in to punish you. Um, he doesn't do a whole lot of blocking. He's more of an offensive character from what I've seen. Um, definitely one of uh, one of the classics that I enjoy in the game, and I'm glad to see that he's back in his full, full glory. Um, and here is one of the characters that I don't like being in the game. Uh, I lose to him on this first round here. Um, his fighting style really doesn't fit into the Titan universe. It's kind of unorthodox. Uh, it's kind of just not in its right place. Um, a lot, that's the reason why the Tekken combat system in Tekken 7, in my opinion, is not as good as the classics because I feel like they added a lot of stuff to the combat system just to make up for Akuma uh, being in the game. And I don't like Akuma being a part of the story. And uh, I'm not going to spoil what happens or anything. I just... He just doesn't belong there, in my opinion. Um, he's annoying to fight because pretty much all he will do is block. Uh, for most of the match, you'll see that he just blocks and then he spams three or four moves over and over again that either can't be blocked or are very difficult to deal with. He likes to fly in the air and spin his, spin his legs around, which... Like I said, it, it looks kind of weird in a Tekken game because, uh, you know, this is most of the martial arts you see in Tekken is more realistic. Um, there's some gimmicks with, like, the, the transformations of the demons and stuff, but I feel like that, that that's just... It's not over the top. It's not ridiculous. It's not... It's, too crazy to far fetched to believe, but a Kuma, Kuma style kind of just doesn't feel 
it, it just doesn't feel right for the game. It doesn't feel like there was much thought behind it. It was just more to put him in the game, to grab people to come over from Street Fighter to play Tekken. Um, I actually don't mind them having the uh, Tekken in Street Fighter crossover games. Uh, just make them a separate game, not part of the canon story. Um, I think uh, that would have been the best bet for them to do. Pretty much, uh, like I said, he, he kind of beats me down in his first match. The second match, I'll, uh, um, I'll beat him barely, um, but... Uh, I kind of, I kind of cheese him in, in the next round with some super moves near the end. He, he's a little bit, uh, a little bit annoying and frustrating, uh, but it's especially if you're not using someone that you're familiar with, like uh, Leroy. Uh, I'm not really familiar with. I haven't mastered his style and haven't mastered his combos really that good. He's kind of a newer character that I really haven't had a whole lot, whole lot of time with. But for the most part, he's he's decent. Um, and I think that just about uh, wraps it up and enjoy the rest of the gameplay. Bye. Till I get up, time is barely on our side